So it's not the first time we are, uh, I'm performing this talk. Uh, I used to perform it with uh, my fellow, which is, <laughs> which is may, we, we, who, who, who may be in, in, the, in, the, in this room, and who is the timekeeper. The, um, the challenge is to, to play it in English, it's the first time, and the second challenge is to play it in 25 minutes, uh, since we used to play it uh, in 50 minutes. So uh, let's go. Uh, cloud computing is the champion of bullshit bingo. I think uh, the, his, uh, its, main, its main challenger is uh, uh, an offspring, which is serverless. We'll see in a minute that uh, serverless was the first service, the first cloud computing service that, was been, that has been made available by Google. Um, however, um, in these bullshit bingos, of course, cloud computing is um, is bringing with him with it uh, every hopes, uh, resiliency, performance, uh, elasticity, uh, some kind of auto magic maintenance. You know, uh, you just put your application in uh, in the cloud, and well, it's by magic it, it becomes uh, resilient, it becomes uh, performant, and so on. Um, on the contrary, uh, the cloud, comp cloud computing brings also uh, many fears and many uh, uh, inconsequent fears. The, 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 the weirdest one, uh, the, the most awkward one, being, uh, well, my cloud provider is Google. Google uh, has business um, on, uh, on news, for example. So if my business is uh, to, to host, to, to run a, a news website, uh, maybe Google will spy my own business that is running on its, on, on its platform. Um, what remains is that uh, cloud computing is, um, is a market trend, is a tremendous market trend, and uh, it's, it's, it's here to stay. What is new since uh, two, 2017 is that uh, for two years now, we are doing production. You see the blue, the blue bars? We are, we are doing production on, on, uh, on cloud platform. Um, th this, is, uh, this is quite, of, uh, quite of, uh, a, new, a new thing. Um, Hadrian and, and I uh, used, to, um, used to run um, critical missions on, uh, on cloud for eight years now, uh, integrating, uh, integrating uh, cloud solutions, migrating uh, legacy uh, workload to, to the cloud. So we've got quite a, a good um, experience about it, and of course, uh, by by having this uh, this experience, we went through uh, all the hype cycle. The, you know the Gartner hype cycle, which is uh, the the different steps we are we are uh, traveling when uh, we are encountering when uh, when we adopt a new technology. This is a pattern. This is a G Gartner published this uh, uh, many years ago. Um, and, um, and this is uh, a pattern that is uh, always the same, uh, whatever, whatever the, the technology. Okay, let's begin. Uh, first of all, we've got the technology trigger. Uh, when a technology uh, uh, pop up, pops up, um, it's to it's to um, to match uh, to match a need. We've, we've got a new need, uh, a new need that is not um, that is not uh, targeted, that is not solved by any of uh, the former solutions we've got uh, on our own. Okay, so uh, the, this new technology, let's say the cloud computing, is here to uh, solve these new needs. In 2007, uh, something like this, with an Apple on it, uh, went uh, to the market. You know, the first iPhone, the first ma smartphone. Uh, the, the year after, in 2008, uh, the first uh, mobile ap applications uh, come through. And uh, with these mobile applications, every mobile, users, uh, every mo mobile user uh, beca became a data producer. Okay? Every mobile user uh, create photos, share photos, create audios, share audios, create data, and share this data uh, with uh, his, his uh, social graph. And uh, we've got the same thing with uh, geolocal, ge geolocal uh, data, of course. Uh, let's say Waze, for example, with crowdsourcing uh, usage. 
And of course, all these all those data all these data is um, is uh, used uh, in a kind of a real time pattern. You know, uh, if uh, if your traffic jam uh, is uh, if you you got a notification on your traffic jam, uh, let's say uh, ten ten minutes after you are inside the traffic jam, uh, there's no there is no <laughs> it's not relevant. So. Um, we we had to we had to address uh, a tremendous um, uh, growth of data and uh, um, a performance issue about uh, crunching and computing this data in kind of a real time. Of course, we 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 didn't know how to how to address these new needs uh, with uh, our legacy um, way way a way of work. Okay, with our uh, with our legacy um, data centers, with our legacy servers, with lo our legacy um, technical architecture, we didn't know how to how to address these kind of things. We didn't know how to let's say uh, let's say uh, serve a um, web request uh, to uh, thousand to seven users, and then uh, two two weeks ago to millions of users. So. Uh, this um, this kind of need uh, was new needs, and we d we didn't know how to how to tackle the, how to tackle the, them. We didn't know how to address them, and th this was the 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 this this was wow what uh, why uh, the cloud computing uh, has been um, has been uh, for with uh, his main characteristic with its main characteristics of course uh, being uh, being um, provisioned on demand. Uh, uh, be, um, you can provision, uh, of course, uh, um, as much uh, workload as you as you want with uh, its elasticity, and of course you you just pay what you need. The second need, um, uh, um, the cloud uh, the, the cloud computing was relevant for, uh, is um, some kind of, e of e some kind of hidden need, which was to empower the users and the development projects. It was a tremendous um, way to, for, for this project to challenge their own uh, operation department. Okay. Um, well, you 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 just you just uh, need uh, three three months to give me a server, but uh, just there on the, on the internet, I can have a server in two minutes. Why are you so long? So uh, on a, on, a, an, 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 on an, an, an economical point of view, and also on a, um, an uh, operational efficiency, the, op the, the operation department were uh, fully challenged by uh, the incoming com cloud computing as a challenger of their own uh, of their of their own service. Uh, they were able to deliver. In 2007, um, this guy Chris Anderson uh, wrote this paper. The black wire versus the white wire, which was uh, some kind of um, some kind of uh, evangelism about how the cloud was uh, challenging, of course, the white wire, which is the ether the Ethernet wire, uh, you know, the the one who, 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 which connects you to your uh, enterprise network. Uh, Chris Anderson is the the famous uh, is famous for his quote: "If uh, if it's free, it's f it's, if it's free, then you're the project," you know. It seems. Okay. Um, in 2008, uh, this is the first cloud computing service that appears uh, uh, for the mass market, Google App Engine, which was already a serverless, uh, a serverless uh, service, uh, which is quite uh, funny. So uh, AWS uh, didn't invent anything with lambdas. Um, and even if uh, he, it has his, its own um, adoption curve, um, it was quite a, a quite a failure. It was a failure because uh, there was um, many constraints uh, that were already um, that were already uh, announcing um, all the constraints that remains in cl in cloud computing uh, in, in on the whole picture. First of all, uh, his pricing model was far too mature. To be uh, to be uh, understood and mastered by its users, um, it it was based on uh, the number of requests and the the CPU the CTU, CPU time consumed by every each and every request. It was very very difficult to master that. We didn't know even to monitor this this kind of metrics, so it was quite complicated. 
the second was uh, the uh, uh, relative uh, poorness of uh, of its catalog of its, of its technological catalog catalog and then uh, there was um, two two main issues that were the vendor lock in about the data persistency uh, because the only uh, the only technology to to uh, to store data was big table which gave hadoop uh, further and uh, and the the main main issue was of course to be resilient your application had had to be uh, architectured uh, in a distributed manner okay the so called uh, cloud native application so in 2008 10 years ago we we already have uh, this constraint to rearchitecture uh, our application uh, so uh, so for them to fit uh, in the in the cloud Someone understood very well this constraint and the, and the, the failure of uh, Google App Engine, and it's called AWS. AWS uh, went uh, went on the market uh, just few few months ago, uh, few months uh, later than uh, than uh, GAA, and uh, um, its proposal was to um, was to give to give something uh, very uh, very simpler, very um, more cl uh, more close. Closer to uh, closer to uh, the the way we the way we managed um, infrastructure on our own in a legacy manner uh, by introducing the infrastructure as a service. Um, the main value proposal was these three items, which is uh, you just pay what you need to to use. Okay, the fa the famous per per, per, per use. Uh, of course. Something uh, about uh, the high availability, the, resi the resiliency. This is the this is the the, the main value proposal uh, in uh, in AWS, and some kind of elasticity uh, slash performance about auto scaling. But the the real uh, the real question is um, is is, is this uh, is this just bundled in the service? Is this uh, just uh, some kind of uh, auto magic or? How does it work uh, uh, roughly? And then uh, we went uh, through the, the thought of disillusion um, because uh, there is no magic at all in this. Let's, uh, let's, let's see this. First of all, you don't pay what you need to use. You pay what you provision. So it's exactly the same that when you buy a server and that you use uh, half the capacity of this server. Okay. This is not uh, this is not uh, different at all. The, the only uh, difference is that when you don't need uh, your uh, instance anymore, of course, you release it and you don't pay for it uh, for three years or something like that. But there is a, a real uh, gap between what you uh, ask for and what you actually use. If you ask for, uh, let's say, uh, ten instances. And uh, your CPU uh, load is average at 10 percent. Okay, you've got uh, 90 percent of uh, of your bill that is irrelevant. The second thing is the auto scaling. Auto scaling is just you've got metrics, okay, and you write scripts on the, scripts on your own to adapt your work your your capacity planning to your to your work to your workload. It's something you can do with your uh, own uh, virtualiz virtualization system on your own. It's not, it's not something magic. You have to uh, wire uh, the metrics and your, uh, your own capacity planning uh, logic. So there is some work like, uh, on it. You, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, of course, the feature is bundled, but you have to, uh, you have to configure and to uh, program it. And the third, uh, the third thing is uh, high availability. Who knows uh, which is the which is the SLA on a single instance in on AWS? Who think uh, who who uh, think that uh, it's uh, it's uh, about ninety nine nine percent? Okay, more. Who think that is more? Okay, who think there is uh, let's say uh, five or seven uh, nine uh, after the com uh, the comma? After the, the the dots, okay. Who think that is less? Okay. So there is no SLA on a single instance. 
so uh, you've got uh, you, you're right. You're right. Um, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll speak about uh, high availability uh, further. Okay. Um, the um, let's let's go through this and through this yet. Um, when you use uh, cloud computing, uh, you're using, of course, uh, services. These services are proprietary, and uh, to master them, uh, you've got to understand how they behave. And uh, most of the time, you don't have co uh, source code to, to understand how they behave, and you don't have uh, architectural documentation. You've got end users documentation, but you don't, you don't have uh, um, technical uh, technical documentation on on how they how they are wired inside, okay. So the the main the main the, mes, the main methodology to understand how they behave is to try to fail and to learn. This is a tweet from an AWS cloud solution architect who is uh, explaining you uh, that uh, to uh, choose uh, the size of a lambda. The best way is to uh, uh, to test every size of the lambda and to choose uh, after having test, which is not something very uh, uh, user friendly. Um, another thing is um, about uh, the, the the freshness of uh, of your services. Uh, of course, uh, cloud providers uh, offers the, um, up, the the most up to date assets. Of course, you've got the, the latest version of the OS, the latest version of, uh, of, of um, security fix, and so on. But this is for new assets. Your running workload is not upgraded by, uh, is not upgraded by, uh, by your cloud provider. So you have to manage on your own uh, something like immutab immutable infrastructure pattern, and so on, and so on. Another thing is about integration. Cloud providers uh, have uh, thousands uh, of uh, little service configuration, but at least hundreds of services. And we've got to integrate, to wire uh, these several services to uh, build uh, an architecture. Okay? That's why I'm paid for. That's why Adrian is paid for. Okay? And that's why we've got so much needs about DevOps guys and cloud architects, because it's a new, a new um, profile, a new, uh, a new um, guy that is uh, that is needed uh, to uh, to wire these uh, these services. Another thing is about uh, price. Um, Google in uh, Google uh, in its key, in, uh, on its keynote uh, two years ago said uh, that 60 60 percent of the time spent. Ma managing a uh, cloud platform uh, as a user, I mean, I, as a consumer of this platform, is spent to optimize uh, the costs, and not in a not in a small way. As you can see, uh, this uh, company just uh, optimized it by 60 by, uh, by reducing uh, its uh, AWS cost by 60 percent uh, by doing dev finops. So it's it's a real deal. Let's talk about the two main issues uh, when you're using uh, cloud computing. The main issues is this one. Resiliency in cloud computing is just um, some kind of jeopardy. Resiliency on, your, on, on the cloud uh, platform is what you build. Okay? In a legacy manner, here, Okay, resiliency is mo mostly uh, supported by infrastructure. In the cloud, resiliency is mostly uh, supported by your application architecture. So, resiliency in the cloud is what you're building. So, when, when you migrate your application into the cloud, okay, resiliency of your application is the effort you will inject to make your application a cloud native application so the the, the, the promise uh, the promise of um, of uh, the um, of uh, having um, uh, um, a huge resiliency uh, in the cloud is something like um, uh, kind of a, kind of a, a jeopardy 
the um, last but not least, um, the one of the main uh, issue by uh, mi migra migrating into the cloud is um, the what what we call the data gravi gra gravitation, which is um, migrating data into the cloud is something very uh, very expensive. This is the way AWS um, uh, um, offers you to migrate your data, your legacy data, into AWS. This is a one-way truck. Okay, you can you you don't have the same truck to migrate your uh, your data from AWS to another thing. So when you when you uh, when you're uh, storing your data into the cloud, most of the time you know that your data won't leave this cloud solution. Because uh, there is the weight of the data, migrating it through the network is very expensive in time, in effort, and in, in money. And uh, data format and uh, technology to, to request those data are most of the time uh, either proprietary or um, um, Complex enough to not be uh, re reproducible uh, in uh, in your in your own data center, for example. Let's say Spanner. You, um, I, I think you know uh, Spanner from Google, which is a, a distributed a distributed um, relational database. Uh, of course, you can use it when you're into Google. Of course, you cannot use any kind of such a techno um, elsewhere than into a Google Cloud Platform. So, if you're using this kind of technology, you know, you know that you're stuck with uh, Google, uh, or you have to uh, rethink deeply the way you're requesting your data. So, it's a one-way trip. This talk is not about um, uh, is not about um, uh, bitching about uh, cloud platform. Of course, I'm, implement I'm implementing a cloud solution uh, to every of my of my customers. So there is real uh, advantages to to migrate into the cloud. For example, uh, AI cognitive services are something we we cannot reproduce uh, easily outside of the cloud because. Uh, they have the technology, and most of most, most of this, uh, they have the data sets, huge data sets, um, belonging to uh, all the all their uh, customers uh, to uh, to train their models, their, their AI models. So their models are most far most relevant than any models you can have on on your own. So what about uh, what about using cloud computing in 2018? Um, You've got uh, a lever between what you can manage by your, by your, on your own um, and um, what you can uh, uh, offload from your own uh, management effort uh, in order to, to gain time to market, in, or, in order to gain um, time uh, de developers or DevOps times and so on and so on. Our, our main advice is uh, don't put all your eggs into the same into the, into the same basket. Um, maybe you you can have uh, some workload uh, re, uh, relying on your legacy data centers, legacy architecture, and maybe uh, less critical or um, more up to date architecture uh, application architecture uh, that can migrate into the cloud. Um, another thing is. Um, to uh, to um, to um, understand understand that uh, the um, the software uh, landscape has changed with uh, containers and orchestrations. Um, before, uh, fin, five years ago, uh, when containers were were not so uh, mainstream, um, the only way to to do easily uh, infrastructure as code and then uh, to uh, to uh, pilot uh, your technical architecture uh, by code was only uh, to to migrate into the cloud. Okay, uh, VMware has uh, APIs, but it's, it's very tricky to to uh, handle that. Uh, under this, um, the thing the, the game has really changed with Kubernetes, uh, with uh, Docker Swarm, and so on, uh, which um, embed 
uh, infrastructure as code pattern and DevOps patterns uh, natively into open source uh, into an open source software that that you can deploy uh, on your own in your that in your own data centers and so on. So you can. Uh, you've got uh, a game changer um, with uh, uh, container orchestration by um, uh, making uh, a, uh, making uh, easily uh, make, uh, making easy to uh, to um, do infrastructure as code uh, on this kind of of software uh, either in the cloud or uh, on your legacy uh, on on premises. Um, another thing is to uh, to always um, think about uh, people and processes and so on. Um, your ops, um, one of the one of the uh, promise of the um, of the cloud computing was to uh, to uh, annihilate uh, the need of ops. Of course, uh, <laughs> this is a, this is a, a bullshit since uh, ops are now uh, replaced by DevOps, and there is a kind of a need of DevOps if you know the, the job market. Um, the thing is, uh, your ops will have to, to, um, to upgrade their skills, uh, not to be uh, robots uh, answering tickets, but to become uh, robot builders and uh, writing, uh, writing automa um, automated code uh, that, will, uh, that will pilot uh, the platform. In conclusion, um, 10 years ago when uh, AWS and Google and uh, later Microsoft um, provides their cloud solutions, um, they were uh, what we call uh, web giants. And they, they were kind of uh, technological leaders uh, giving us advice about how to best implement uh, the new workloads uh, uh, oriented, uh, aimed, aimed to uh, to mobile uh, mobile applications, aimed to uh, uh, the new the new kind of web usage, and so on. Nowadays, these technological leaders are technological vendors. Okay, so their advice are, are not so, uh, let's say, kind or uh, open-minded. Uh, when when they give us advice today, it's just for for us to buy their solutions. So we've got to uh, take this kind of uh, advice with a more critical point of view. So we, we don't have to re we remain the junkies, the technolo technological junkies we, we used to be. And we've got to uh, make some kind of uh, subtle, uh, subtle choices um, by uh, Let's let's resume let's resume this. Just uh, just saying that you have to choose uh, like an engineer and not like a fashionista. Okay, we, we just talked a few few minutes ago about uh, Kubernetes. It's a f it's a very uh, um, uh, fun technology, a very interesting te technology. But the real need uh, about using uh, Kubernetes are not so are not so obvious. So maybe you can you can um, make more pra more pragmatical choices. Another thing is to is this fa this famous uh, uh, this famous uh, quote: "Do as I say, not as I do." Um, um, cloud vendor uh, Google and AWS uh, on the first uh, on the first line are um, saying are advising. Yeah, uh, are advising that uh, we have to focus on our core business, leaving all the infrastructure and the ar technical architecture and so on uh, behind us uh, by buying uh, services on, cl on cloud computing. Uh, whereas they are, they are doing exactly the, uh, the opposite. They are, uh, they are doing uh, exactly the, the, the opposite of this. Uh, of course, on their own, they are addressing the full stack uh, from a uh, the, the deepest uh, infrastructure layer to uh, to the software, so it's quite complicated to to get these advices uh, from uh, from vendors that are not uh, eating their own dog food. And at least um, just um, be aware that uh, the software landscape is evolving, and uh, mostly with the container orchestrations, uh, and that. Uh, Cloud was re was very relevant uh, on infrastructure as code platform as a, uh, infrastructure as a service platform as a service uh, a few day a few years ago, 
uh, nowadays, uh, this, uh, this kind of choices can really, really be challenged by uh, using uh, open source technologies on, on our own, uh, on, uh, on uh, on-premises uh, solutions. That's it. Uh, if you have got any questions, the answer will be 42. And that's it. Thank you.